up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. <laughs> you rocking with that, Jay, huh? The show is fire, bro. I was hey. watching every day. Shout out to Flock, yeah. Shout out to Flock. Shout out to Visto. You know what I'm saying? That's fire, though. That's that's dope. Y'all Richmond artists got to step it up. Cam, Cam wasn't feeling y'all like that. Nah, let me stop. Let me, <laughs> Yo, don't stop. Do that. Let me stop. You manage half of the niggas that, that, that I played anyway. Yeah. No, I get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, nah, but yeah, we're here, man. This is uh Mike Beasley. Cam's here. Ashley's here. This is episode eight of Beasley's on podcast. Um, we're supposed to be having a guest. Uh, he may or may not join the stream at some point. We'll see. Um, but we're here. We were just talking. What were we talking about? Murder Hornets? Yeah, I got questions yeah. about the Murder Hornets. Let's let's hear it. What's your questions, man? All right, so how a hornet get over here? Like how that's physically impossible. Like what was it landing on? It was landing on the water. If it come, it's coming from Asia, right? How it get over here? It flew. I tried to t- I tried to tell you that on Twitter. You wasn't so, paying so, so their so their wings never get tired. I mean, no. who said that they didn't stop? That's what I'm saying. Like, you know how many cruise ships are just nah, in, how many no. cruise ships are just in the ocean right now, not going nowhere? No. They're being transported, they can fly. Animals migrate all the time. Nah, I'm not jacking that. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, we you got never we've never heard about this. Way. Nah, we never heard about this hornet, and then boom, murder hornets. Watch okay, out. Bro. How many other species have been discovered, like them weird ass animals that be at the bottom of the ocean that be coming out looking like half fish, half fucking <laughs> whale, like shit like that is like okay, but it's fully possible. But it's in the ocean, you feel me? That's the that's their biome, like biome or whatever. <laughs> a, a fucking uh in their biosphere, yeah, biosphere, a fucking <laughs> a hornet. <laughs> So can can those hornets land on water and take like a thirty minute breather and then jump back up in the yeah, air? Yeah, those things are huge. I wouldn't be surprised if they can fucking cut a steak with a knife and a fork. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah yo, I'm not jacketing me. No, Come but you gotta no, but but here's the other thing, right? They can't they came from Japan, right? Uh huh. So they traveling they traveling across the Pacific, not the Atlantic Ocean. It's probably a shorter distance. Still no. They said it took a week. From the fly here. So where they were stopping, they were stopping at a few Airbnbs in the middle of the ocean. Not me. Uh, so, uh, uh, <laughs> that was a good one. Good one, man. They was, what was they doing? I don't know, man. There's no cruise ships out right now. How they get here? Other animals. They probably flew on. They probably like were on birds. Other animal, on birds. On you birds. You can tell on another horny. animal that can go faster. So 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 then they, 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 they could dig nah. into the back of a bird and just fly that jump. Like, what are you talking about? Like, no, like it's then, they, then exactly. <laughs> no, exactly the like murder it. hornet. It's the murder hornet. Their main job is to murder, right? Humans. Whatever, man. Fuck out of here, man. Right. Fucking murder hornets. Who shits his pussy? Hit him with something if you see him. Not me. Yeah, I'm screaming right. and I'm running as fast as I can. That's not going to work out for me, but these things yeah, are but, huge. But, and I hope I don't ever see one. <laughs> no, but you have these. Ash, you got these. My thumb? What are those going to do? As yeah. long as I have these, I'm superior to every animal. All I can pick right. shit up. I can right. hit it. So you're superior to every animal except for monkeys because they have those too, right? No, nah, I know the monkeys are dangerous. They'll pull your arm right out your socket. <laughs> Those are dangerous animals. <laughs> flesh, flesh and bone for real. Yeah, exactly. Nah, I'm not with I'm not with none of the orangutan smoke. Nah, I feel that. But a, <laughs> but a bee or I mean a flying creature, fuck you. That's just how you're giving it up. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm I'm man. We figured out how to fly too, pussy. Like we better than you. We're what better. What if a bald eagle came flying at you? How you how you giving it up then? Oh, them fucking dinosaurs? I don't know. I'll probably run for a little bit until I find something to throw at it. I've seen one in the park. It was wild majestic. Yeah. But they 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 coochie too. I mean, what there's only like 50 of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that many. 
I'm not nah, scared. I'm, 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 all right, all right. Plus, I'm not just going into the forest <laughs> looking for bald eagles, bro. Like, oh my god! All right, man. all right, all right. That's enough. That's enough of this. <laughs> Cam's questions about murder hornets. All right, right. I just, want, I just want to know how they got here. That's all. We're gonna go on. We're gonna go into something else, and uh, we're just gonna start off by saying, uh, "Rest in peace to Ahmad Ar- Arbery." I hope I'm saying it right. I know I spelled it right. I thought but, it was uh, Arbery. Rest in peace to the young brother. Um, he was uh, murdered by two yokels in in Georgia. What was this in February, guys? You said February twenty third. Twenty third, yeah. February twenty third. And the video reached the internet May the sixth. Um, apparently, the apparently the guy that actually uh, fired the fired the shots at at Ahmad was a uh, former policeman. Of course, he was also a former district attorney investigator. Mm-hmm. Right, and. Um, yeah, man, he 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 was accusing he was accusing this kid of uh, well, I'm not gonna say he was a kid. He was a young man. He was he was accusing this young he was accusing this young man of uh, committing burglaries in their neighborhood. And they both and and they, they both live in the same neighborhood, but apparently it's a apparently it's an extremely like segregated neighborhood where like black people don't co mingle with the white people in that neighborhood, but um. Yeah, man, he seems it seems from what I saw in the video that this was clearly um this is clearly intentional. Mm-hmm. Um they hunted this kid down, mm-hmm. if you ask me. Um and yeah, he put up a he put up a hell of a fight trying to fight off trying to fight off old boy with, with the shotgun, but unfortunately he lost his he lost that battle. Mm-hmm. And, um, R.I.P. Man, just another, just another example of just how racism is alive and well, mm-hmm. despite coronavirus. What do y'all? I mean, I'm sure, I'm, I'm sure, I missed a lot of the, a lot of details in there. You know what I mean? In regards to why he isn't being prosecuted, but I'm sure y'all have some thoughts. I'll let y'all go ahead. Yeah, but my thoughts ain't nice, so I'm, a, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna hold them, cause this shit is, this shit is wild sad. This shit is terrifying, actually. Really? Yeah, bro. You, you can't go on the jog in, in my own neighborhood. That shit is terrifying. Something that he does every day. Exactly. Basically, Something he does every day. No, no one was arrested because the case was brought to like multiple prosecutors, but turns out Everyone who the case was given to had worked with the guy before, you know. Correct, correct. So, and then that, and then the, and then the third prosecutor that it came to, he's passing the buck, basically saying, "Well, I'm going to wait to decide to press charges until another grand jury convenes," but they don't know when that's going to happen, right? Because apparently Georgia opened up everything but the courts. Exactly. Oh, wait a minute. This guy, he was he but he was in plain clothes, right? Like, I think, but I, he was I think that, I, right? Yeah, former he officer. Retired. Like yeah, he's he's former, his everyday right? life now yeah. is nothing cop related besides but I mean, random joggers. But so that jokes. don't that don't matter, man. Like nah, I know because yeah, the, the reason why you're behind I that blue wall, you're always you're always behind it, man. Yeah, fuck him. That's what it is. You know. But what are you about to say, Cam? Nah, just like the reason why I asked that is because you was like they was pushing shit through, but I'm like, yo, but you're a civilian now. I can't believe that they was doing that. But Beast- they was trying to. Well, well, they claim. Well, here's the thing, though. Here's here's it's interesting you say that they claim they was trying to make a citizen's arrest because they Fuck thought they, because they thought they thought that this guy was burglarizing homes in their neighborhood. Or so they said. So you so you's making the citizens arrest with a shotgun. Yeah. Mm. Mm. He had a shot. The guy had a shotgun. Mm. I'm not even. I'm not even going to dignify homie name. Um, and his son had a pistol. Mm-hmm. And the guy recording had a gun. Yeah, 
They got so, recording the video that's viral right now. Well, there was three people there. Well, the person, but I mean, but Cam, if you look at the video, I didn't, I can't, I'm not watching that. Person, well, I mean, I, I watched it because it popped up on my feed, so I watched understood, it. Understood, understood. The guy actually recording the video, mm -hmm. if you look in the manner of which his car is moving, mm -hmm. when he starts recording, mm -hmm. it's clear that he's involved. It's yeah. clear. Because there's no, it's not like it's not like a it's not like a a, a passerby just happened to pull their phone out and, and start recording this. Mm. No, yeah, yeah, he was he was in line with them. You would have heard that you would have heard the person that was recording like a little startled, like oh shit, or like damn, let me call the cops or something. Nah. No, but instead you hear him cock his gun too, because he had one as well. Yep, yep. I should have said, yo. It's wild. Like you took it upon yourself to hunt someone down. Let me talk to you. I mean, the police report is out there. You know, we just want to talk to you and someone refuses. So you hop out your car. Nah, you're not, you not, you, you not, in, you not, you in plain clothes. No, I don't have to speak to you. Exactly. I don't give a fuck what you suspect. I don't have to speak to you. Don't touch me. Get away from me. And that was the thing. He was trying to run around. He was trying to run around them. That was the thing. Like when, cause he seen dude it, like you could you could clearly see like when he sees Buddy in the middle of the street with the shotgun, he he veers off to the right hand side of the street trying to get around the car, and then he still hops out on him, chases him off camera. You hear the gun go off, and then there, with a shot in him, he's still rest fighting to wrestle the shotgun away from him, and then a nut, and then he gets shot again, and then just he stumbles forward a little bit, hits the ground, starts bleeding out, and that was that was it. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm telling you, man. Like, unfortunately, like, and they and they just and they just open back Georgia back up again. I hate, man. I, I really, I really hope we don't start seeing a lot of like racially charged violence in that in, in that state and then and then the city of Atlanta as a result. But I have a, I have a sneaking suspicion that, especially if nothing happens, like. Now, if nothing happens, it's a wrap. Because not for nothing, Atlanta is a black city. Or I mean, like I don't think this happened in Atlanta. Oh, it's not Atlanta. No, I don't believe. No, it's so. in Georgia. This happened in one of the surrounding counties. But it's not like the city is not Atlanta. Oh, uh, where did it happen? I believe it was Brunswick. Yes, Brunswick, Georgia. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not too. I'm not too familiar with Georgia, so I couldn't really say where that was, but. Nah, this should I mean, be yeah, man. And it's crazy because I mean something like this, I don't I don't know if the I don't know if the guy died or not, but something like this just happened in, in Norfolk with a with an on duty with an active police police officer. So what shot, do we do? Do we shot, start shooting shot, back? Out of Norfolk. I mean should we just start shooting back? Fuck it. We can, but that's a that's a losing battle. It's lose lose either way. Well, no, I'd mean, rather I, lose. I'd rather lose fighting than the lose. Than the well, no, 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 that's not, I, I, I hear what you're saying. No, I hear what you're saying. But like, reason why I say it's a losing, it's a losing battle, just because niggas don't really have the training or the or the artillery to to fight that fight. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. not 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 like not like how I would imagine it should go down. By a gun. You know what I mean, not, legally. Keep it on, keep it on you, or get make sure you get your permits, everything, keep it What's can you say? What's can you say? Every time a situation happens, as much as I hate guns because they freak me out, I'm considering just doing that because home defense, if anything. Oh, yeah. Mm. You don't need to you don't want to bring it everywhere and you don't want to have to feel like that. But for your home, especially, yeah. Don't go crazy and get 12 of them. You don't need 12 of them, but you know. So something. I mean, you might. I mean, one for one for every hiding spot you got in the crib. Why right. not? Why not, man? But I don't know, man. I can't deal with this though, man. This shit, like. Our pizza, the young man, I'm my yeah. Arbery, man. Condolences. Don't get to, real angry, you know, and then it's gonna be the another riot situation. We hope we hope y'all get justice, man. Hopefully, um. Hopefully somebody in the federal government steps in and they're not. 
just the Department of Justice to to look into this and possibly file charges because that can still, that can happen. Yeah, but right. I, don't, I don't see that happening. Uh, me neither. But come on, street I mean, justice. Nothing, nothing like wishful thinking. Yeah, yeah. But my I, let's go with street justice. Come on, you know we, you know people in that neighborhood light his shit up. Fuck him. You know what? Let me not do that. Let me not condone that. But that's how I feel. Yeah, that's you. exactly how I feel too. <laughs> My mind is saying, "Roll up on him, light yeah, shit up." Light I don't care up. who's okay. in there because you clearly didn't get two fucks about you know his life. So fight, fight back. I understand you want to be you know an upstanding citizen, but what what could what could you do? What could you do? They gonna fuck us either way. What could you right. do? What can you do? What can you do? Um, I know, I know one thing that you shouldn't do. What's that? You shouldn't go with your brother to an Airbnb to have a random drunken foursome after you have an argument with your wife. Well, thank you for drinking <laughs> too much during quarantine, and that's gonna segue us into our next topic. Um, a more lighter mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cheating during COVID. Um, cheating during COVID. Actually, I want y'all to know that there's a lot of boredom out there, apparently, and that like everyone's doing it. What? No, speak for yourselves, guys. No, I, I heard. Heard. Yeah, I was like, wait, Ashley, are you trying to t- you trying to break something to the show? What's going on? <laughs> I know multiple situations where people apparently out of boredom just COVID got them bored, so they just exploring. So you don't want to paint. You don't, you don't, you don't want to paint nothing. You don't want to like get a book. You don't want to read a book. Like there's mad other shit you could do. There's mad other shit to do. But apparently, having outside conversations that are not involving a relationship are like the top two things to do. So, well, which yeah, here we get, are. <laughs> let's, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it. Um, <laughs> Baltimore Ravens safety Earl Thomas. And his uh, and his wife. What's what's his wife's name again? I don't know. I don't know. I just let's see. Nina Thomas. Nina. Yeah. Um. He's claiming that he's uh lucky to be alive. Yeah, I bet. After the after um, she held a she held a gun to his head after discovering him cheating in Airbnb with his brother and uh some some other some other female participants um <laughs> apparently they got into an argument about uh his excessive drinking i guess during during the coronavirus or during the quarantine or whatever what have you and he stormed out of the house and went with his brother to an airbnb and commenced with some uh drunken shenanigans um damn his wife was trying to help him she, she was she yeah. worry her. Yeah, and so instead of instead of getting a glass of water, he went and got some extra pussy. Yeah, um, it's wild. It's a wild ass story. So she she tracks him down. She tracks him down off his uh his Snapchat location. <laughs> apparently, because I should post, laugh at that. <laughs> apparently, because posts a Snapchat with with some with, with some young lady, right? He's at the Airbnb with her and blah blah blah, right? Um, she calls up some of her homegirls, decides to run down and uh resolve the situation. Mm. She bursts in with what seems to be an empty handgun 38. That seems like a 38 move. Starts slapping him, starts <laughs> slapping Earl around with the joint, points it at his head, threatens to shoot him. Cops get involved. She gets arrested. He threatens to light everybody up. Crazy. Not a crazy part. The craziest part about this, the gun had no clip in it, but there was one in the chamber, though. Right. Oh, no. That could have went completely left. It could have went completely left. Could have been like a reverse Ray Carruth situation. You could have been looking at who? Uh, Ray Carruth. Ray Carruth? Yeah, he killed his baby moms. and. Yeah. Uh, you never heard that stuff? Stuffed her in a trunk and then, uh, and then went and, and then like uh, ran to Tennessee and he was hiding in Tennessee after committing a murder in North Carolina. He used to play for the Carolina Panthers. Back oh, back. okay. All right. Yeah. You've never heard that? You've never heard of that story? Right. <laughs> so surprised. Uh, wow. That's like, 
That was like OJ after OJ. He ran to Tennessee. Yeah, yeah, that's what he ran. How much place for him to run to? Mm. I, I, I'm just so like that's that's never mind. <laughs> never mind that. Let's get back. Yo, nah, my whole thing. I'm just so like I'm so flabbergasted. Like when I saw this, when I saw it, when I read the story because it's like, bro, like you went to an Airbnb mm. with your brother. Mm. Had a foursome mm. with your brother involved mm. in the bed, and then your wife ran in <laughs> with, two her, with, her, with two of her homegirls, threatening to shoot everybody in credit. Yo, like, I need a Mr. Biggs verse. Just, that's what this sounds like. <laughs> some Mr. Big shit, some contagious. Yo, like, I just don't get it. Like, what? What well, because what you, you think this is just boredom, Ashley? Like nah. this strikes, nah, this nah, strikes nah. me. For him specifically, he's been cheating. I was just gonna say this strikes me as this doesn't seem like a first offense. It's a pattern. Yeah. He was drinking, he was probably tired of her shit. Yeah, this he's seems like it. something that he's him and his brother he, are used to doing been together. Old enough and stupid enough to post his shit publicly several times. Like he super didn't give a fuck. He's super like he, he's been on his own uh Snapchat or Instagram story, what have you, posted up with other people like Instagram models and shit, and other people's uh, baby mamas. Yeah, I read that whole oh, wow. article. And oh, wow. you know, he's been cheating for years. So unfortunately, this was just icing on the cake for shorty. And she was like, Yo, I'm tired of you embarrassing yeah. me. She said I had enough. So I'm gonna pull up with your gun. Your dumb ass is stupid enough to leave your Airbnb open. How'd she get in? That's what I'm saying. How'd she <laughs> get in the crib? That's that's the one part that I was really scratching my head about. Like, she, how did she get inside? She strung on the she strung on the fucking the door, man. Nah, that joint was wide yeah. open. Give me all the keys. Yo, Crazy. that's so wild, though. It's so wild. It's so wild. And a foursome with your brother. Yeah, nah, that's nasty. <laughs> yeah, like that's yo. It's, it's that's, a, that's the part that I can't help but laugh at. It's a, it's like, a, yo, it's what's a, like the time you and your bro? There's some people like, out there that are like, oh, they were running the train. Train not, or not, I'm sure nah, there was they, more than one room nah, and more than one bed. They was having an orgy. That's what they was having. Yes. That's it, wicked. Yo. And they was in the same room. All that. That's. that's how old, how old I'm sorry, have a minute trash. Men are no, trash. I'm not jacking that. No, we're not doing this. I ain't do nothing like that. I don't do nothing like that. The the, the few select are far and few between, and y'all are might be a part of that, and that's I great. Know know yeah. Trash. That so, was, so, was, so, so about have, them niggas. So have you heard? Have you heard other stories of this of this uh, uh, happening? Some some cheating spouses during a during a global pandemic. <laughs> It's probably it goes on. Just look at your timeline. I'm sure. Yeah, I was gonna say just look at your timeline. It's everywhere. Nah, yeah. you was you were saying you heard about some shit. I, th- I thought you heard about like some people that you knew or like some some well, not like celebrities, people. but I mean like you know your regular smuggler, rich yeah. folk, or just people around the world. Yeah, like wow, boredom. I mean, all I've heard of is people. I don't like, know. How, I don't know how to like, say boredom. boredom. Boredom is not an excuse. Y'all don't have nobody to talk to, so you're going to talk to the shorties online. There's mad people in their phones, I guarantee. No, my thing is, like, how you don't got nobody to talk to you if, like, you and your significant other are in the crib? Yeah. I don't so, know why dumb niggas do the shit that they do, but they do it. Nah, he was scared, though. He, this shorty, can't, was trying, shorty was trying to help him out. His wife, mind you, trying to help him. He, f- he fumbled, he scared, or he probably don't like it. He just thought this was the better way out. But you also say he's been doing that. So this nigga's retarded. Maybe he just yeah. hasn't. Maybe. Wait, wait. I'm a. I'm a. I'm you going to shoot some bell? bell? You going to shoot right. some bell? <laughs> shoot some bell. I'm going to shoot him some bell. Yeah, go ahead. If y'all watched the AFC divisional round, I think it was, or the wild card round, when, yeah. he, took that, when he took that stiff arm from. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Don't tell me who, 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 who the running back from the Titans from Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry, yeah. He took, he took the stiff arm from hell from Derrick Henry, and maybe he hasn't been thinking straight since. I so don't know. This is CTE, possibly. No, no, 
Uh, yo, everybody here. Nah, I, I, I put insanity. <laughs> said, for God, I loved her. Like, come on. <laughs> just complete insanity. Yo, CTE got me. Why not? What you mean? Why not? Nah, cause, cause then, cause then, cause then, was when some real CTE shit happens. Mm-hmm. Now we gotta compare it to the other CTE shit, and it's like, yo, his might be. Nah, it's, not, it's all the same, dude. It's, it's not all, all the same. same. It's not. No, I. He he didn't catch two bodies. He Aaron Hernandez nothing. Uh, you know okay. I mean, okay. no Junior Stay out shit. OJ nothing. He didn't Chris Ben. Why nothing? I'll exactly. I feel you. So you just gonna all right, CTE cheat on my wife? Nah, you're, not, you're an asshole. Definitely maybe not. That's how, maybe that's how his CTE manifests. I'm just I don't know. We don't know how the brain works. That's all I'm saying. I mean, well, now that oh. it's like out there because this happened not yesterday. You know what I'm saying? Like right. now that it's out there and you know being brought up, he's like you know telling the media and what do you say in that video? Something like. Just pray for us. We've been talking. I'm talking to my kids. I'm in communication with them. Blah blah blah. But then my guys, birthday I think was yesterday. And Who's so on his was it? Instagram store, I mean on his Instagram page, he posted like a very good ass TikTok wannabe video of them doing like the something new challenge, where you know the little. Nah. The savage. Right off to the side. And he was at like a strip club because there was a there was a pile of money, and there was just like <laughs> random girls in the lot. And I was just like, "Is this what you want to be doing right now?" While we just found out you was in the Airbnb and of course with your brother. He don't give a shit. Clearly, so Shorty need to leave, and if she don't, I don't, I don't have any, you know, pity for her after this because clearly. You're okay with everything that he's doing. Yeah, it's like when is enough enough? You know what I'm saying? You yeah. put a gun on him and you're not gonna leave. I need to know that you're gonna go. <laughs> yeah, it's like either kill him or either kill him or file for divorce. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just pull out the pistol and make empty threats. Like, come on now. Well, like, if you, if but pull, if she was gonna play, out, you better, you play you around go. like she probably wanted to do and scare him and right. actually pull the trigger and then a gun. Like like Cam said, shit could have went. It could have went super left. Be doing life in prison right now. Yeah. Because you know they're gonna you know they're gonna lock her up. Yes. Damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, I gotta, I gotta I hate to say these words together. <laughs> There's a sexual assault thing going on. Bro, you're yeah, you're you're like a week behind, bro. No, 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 no. Kirsten Dunst though. Wait, what? Wait, no, I didn't hear about that either. With Tom, they trying to get Tom Hanks out of here. Wait, what? What? Yeah. What are you talking about? K- Kirsten Dunst said Forrest Gump diddled her. I mean, back in the day. Nah, yo. You think I'm playing? Hold on. Let me go. No, nah, I don't think you're playing because I don't <laughs> think that stuff's a joke, but. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> I, I, I don't even want to laugh at this, but yeah, nah. nah. This ain't funny. This is just out of nowhere. Like, wait, what? Where are you seeing this at? Listen. Where are you seeing this, bro? That, that, that's that's just that's that's the that's the rumblings. What rumblings? Who is there something there was something on Instagram and it's something I don't know, man. I don't follow these things. Yo, there's all right, man. Maybe something, yeah. something with the Woody doll and knives and something like that. Okay, so we're gonna have to read about it and then. <laughs> yeah, let's move on from this. I thought you were talking about like the, like those uh those alleged like rapist pages that have been popping up on like Twitter and Instagram. Oh no, shit. that's a damn. I hate to say that's a daily occurrence, but yeah, this, shit like that is always going down. Nah, this is this it's is. Sad. Where, this is a little different, bro. This show is like actually like turning into like like a Me Too Facebook yeah kind of, kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, and here's and here's I was I was saying this last week, but and I never got a chance to like explain why I was why I made that like correlation or distinction or whatever. So mm-hmm. you know, like when Facebook first started, it was only for Harvard, right? Mm-hmm. And then progressively moved to other schools. Mm-hmm. All right. 
that's kind of what's happening with this jump. Because at first, like, I'm seeing, like, because at first I saw the DM, DMV Raiders. Mm. Then I seen VCU. Then I seen then it was college then specific. The yeah, and it started getting college specific. Then I seen uh, ODU. Then I seen uh, Virginia State. And then I'm like, oh, okay, so this is gonna this is gonna start to nationalize pretty soon. Watch. And then yeah. I've seen I've seen it move. I've, I've seen it move to some other states now. It's just mm. wild. It's just wild. Um, okay. <sighs> You know, so what uh, you think it's gonna turn into? Um, I think it's I think it's gonna turn into very very awkward situations for a lot of for a lot of these young men once people are back outside, at the very least. Hmm. Um, I think um, some violence is gonna occur as a result of this. Absolutely. Um, whether or not whether or not it's deserving, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and say none of that. I'm I'm not always as like I'm not always as like quick on the trigger to mm-hmm. to say that people deserve like violence against them, especially when things. I I don't know if any of that's true. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Not to say that I, not to say that I don't like that. I think that it's all false, but I mean I'm not just gonna jump out there and be like, oh my god, no. Men are trash. Uh, we need to lock them all up. They're all fucking Ashley. Ashley. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, no, and, and look, and look, I, I totally, I totally understand why people would have that that mind state. It's just not just mine. from like a woman's perspective, right? Sure. It's that entire culture, especially in college, Jesus, like a party promoter who you know, shows you a little attention at first, may invite you to the pregame, get you a little faded, mm. invite you to the after party, gets a little faded, you know what I'm saying? Mm. The afties. Can literally turn into just pretty yeah. bad shit, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I think that all of these pages and forums mm-hmm. give those women like not necessarily closure, but knowing that someone else can relate to what you've gone through because in your mind, you processing it, yeah. seeing this person out everywhere and not being held accountable for what they've been doing. Sure, sure, sure. Or even in just your one situation, not being held accountable because you didn't go to anybody about it. You know what I'm saying? Because law enforcement is not going to do much. There, There's not much of anything that they're going to do for us. And that's oh. and that's why I'm not mad at none of this because it's like some of these some of these girls have gone to the police. Mm-hmm. Some of them have gone to uh, their college police, and nothing gets done about it whatsoever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which is which is why they're in this position now to be to be saying what they're saying on the, on the internet. You know what I mean? Um, I have a I have a story. I don't know if I ever I don't know if I ever shared it, which I'm sure I have at some point. Um, we was coming back. We was coming back from the spot. Um, we was on Carey Street. Me and uh, what was that nigga name? Redacted. <laughs> right. No, nah, I forget. I forget his name. But um, we was walking. We was walking back to my car, and uh, we saw we saw these other two dudes jumping, jumping homie, right? Mm. Like jumping a dude. And you know, you see that adrenaline get to running. You like, oh shit! You you go run down, go see what's going on, right? Mm-hmm. They beating dude's ass on the corner. I look over into the street. It's a girl, like just laid out on her back in the middle of the street, in the middle of fucking Gray Street or whatever, where whatever it was, right? I'm looking and I'm like, I start looking some more. I'm like, wait, is she I right? her skirts like all the way pulled up, like on some wild shit. Like, dude was like, dude was trying to rape her in the middle of the street. And luckily, no. and luckily, and luckily, the two guys that was that was fucking him up saw this mm. and started getting to wrecking with him. I go run over to the girl in the street, making sure she all right. And I look, she's bleeding out the back of her head, like barely conscious. Like you could no. tell. Like, I, and at, at that point, I don't know if she had been drinking herself or if she was just dazed from the from the wound that she had, right? Mm-hmm. 
And at this point, I'm freaking out because I'm like, damn, I'm like, what the fuck? You know, what, what do I do here? So I call I call 911. Mm-hmm. When I got them on the phone. They're, they're asking me like, yeah, like, can you, can you, is she responsive? Like, can you ask her what her name is? Blah, blah, blah. I try to ask her. She starts throwing up. Damn. Yeah. Damn. I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to keep going. I don't want to keep going. Like, but long story short, this guy ended up getting, he, he ended up getting convicted of something. Cause I know the guy, I know two of the guys that was there, they ended up going to court and testifying. I didn't, I didn't go to court. I left when the, I left when the ambulance shut up. Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, it's time for us to go. Mm. I mean, I probably should have stayed, but I mean, at the same time, I didn't, I, I, no, I mean, I left because I didn't see what happened. You know what I mean? Right. I, I literally saw the aftermath of what was of what was about to go down. You know what I mean? So mm. I totally, I totally understand like why why these these types of um, cultural events are important. No, yeah. there, there does need to be like some accountability. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And those dudes is pieces of shit. We not we not condoning any of that. Like, don't get me wrong. Not. Of course not. Yeah. It's it's awesome. I don't know. It's yeah. I don't know how we got here. It's but, just uh, unfortunate that that's the culture in general, though. Like, where in your mind do you think that's okay? There's plenty of women who are ready and willing, though. There's, I'm not saying like always, but a lot nah, of women maybe. Nah, nah, always. You can, you can pay. It's a little always. <laughs> you can always get that too. There you go. Like there's, it's available for people who want to do that. You know what I'm saying? So taking it from someone who didn't give you consent is wild to me. How do you even feel comfortable, especially chicks that are like not even, not even consciously there? It's a eyes rolling to the back of the head, all of that shit. They're not even involved. It's a power thing, though. Though that's how I think it. That's what I think it to be. Yeah, I agree. Hey man, yeah. <laughs> my fault, my fault. It's too, it's too deep. You want to nah, talk about nah, it's not even that. It's like I saw something else that I completely like forgot about. You know what I mean? Rest in peace to Sean Reed, man. As well, man. I'm not talking about this one. Another, another black, another black man taken down by the. This is by the actual police. Yeah, I I saw this one. I'm not. Yeah, so I, got, like, I, I couldn't watch that video. video. I watched all of it, and I can't even really watch. It. I can't. I don't have nothing to say with that. Cousin, 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 mili- cousin, military too. Like, yo, start, like start your country and still get and still get shot down by the by the same police you was protect that you protect. Rest in peace to that man. Crazy, that's mind blowing. But rest in peace to that man. Don't family find justice for Sean Reed. Right. Fuck them cops. Fuck them. Fuck the black cop that laughed. Fuck all them cops that was on standing in line. Like shit is nasty, yo. I don't want to talk about this. Though. And get a skateboard for means. Hey, yo, don't don't inject that in there right there. Oh my bad. <laughs> my, my <fault. laughs> Wrong time. <laughs> my bad, my bad. My bad. I was trying to like tie that together. My, my fault. My fault. That's bad branding right there. Uh, <laughs> my bad. Yeah, my fault. Yeah, what if like mad cops started buying your skateboards? That shit would be nuts. Um, yo, here's some, yo, here's some wild shit, yo. Yeah. Yeah, and you'll appreciate this, Cam, as a fellow New Yorker. Um, the subway system. It's awful. It's finally being cleaned after a hundred and what is it? Was it hundred twelve years? Hundred fifteen years of never being closed and never being deep cleaned before. Shit is uh, crazy. I I just I was like, wait, I don't live there. No, no, like, no, no, no. And I don't live there anymore. You guys know I've been down here for a long time, but um, no, nah, I don't want it to be clean. Okay, okay. you need to elaborate because okay. all right, I'm glad <laughs> I'm I'm glad me and you are on like the same page because I was like, because something right, whatever, yeah. You know I mean, like I was like, you don't want it to it be cleaned? No, no. I, mean, I thought it was wild that like Oh, it's been 115 years and they've never like deep cleaned the, the New York City subway system. But then again, it's like, eh, whatever. It's 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 New York City. It's a it's a part it's of New York. It. It's a part of its flavor profile. It's to grow up. To, to make what they're trying to do with New York is make it the billionaire city. You can only right. be there if you're rich. 
I understand that's what you're trying to do, but that's not what New York City is in its like purest form. But as coming from whatever part of the city or town you live in, and your main transportation system, especially for people are like, not a lot of people have cars in New York. You know it's, what I'm saying? They're taking the subway. It's so that's real. Hold on, hold you're on. You're telling me that you don't want people to be on a clean subway system? I'm nah. not talking about rich people. I'm talking about rich, poor, poverty, no, no, all no, of that. No, no. Two, it's two, never two, been clean. Two things, two things, two and things. In fact, and in fact, that should strengthen your immunities. That's that's something else, but I agree with that. Shout out to my anti-vaxxers. Yo, two, <laughs> subway two and things. Right. And I'm about to put on my Republican hat right here. Uh-oh. Number one. Uh-oh. That's, he's that's, back. <laughs> that's, mo- <laughs> that's motivation <laughs> for you to not get on the subway. Right? Like, you don't want to be on the subway anymore. And I understand you have to and this, that, and the third, and systemic society and all of that. I get all of that. But if you don't like taking it, you'll find a way where you don't ever have to take it anymore. Number two, Uber and Lyft exist. I think you're missing my point, but <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I, I really I take the you. rich people out of the conversation completely. Let's just take them out. Okay. People from the gutter, the bottom, all of that, taking the subway. Mm-hmm. We take the dollar children, way, right? Babies. People, I mean, all of that. Yeah. Your kinfolk, all mm-hmm. of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's what I'm talking about in the in the part of like the safetyness and the cleanliness of it. Yeah, I, I understand that. And when every time I go it's back to New York, every <laughs> every time every time I go back to New York and I take the subway, I go, damn, I'm so happy I don't gotta take this shit every day. Word. <laughs> I'm like, yo, this shit is nasty. If like, 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 I take it, I take it, and I feel like a child again. I'm like, yo, I remember getting on the subway, and you see the wildest shit happen on the subway. Yeah. But then I always have that moment when I go, you gotta wash your hands eight times this year yeah. off the subway. But, yeah, but I always, I always have this moment. I go, yeah, I'm so happy. I'm gonna take this shit no more. I don't it, every day. If I don't have to take this, I don't ever have to take this ever again. If I don't want to, just trash, yo. Just trash. It's the convenience is. Amazing. The fact that it runs 24 hours, amazing. All that is amazing. Take but, you anywhere you need to go in the city. But then you got to go like, Literally. I don't want to take this. And I'm not talking about, I'm talking about the, I'm talking about your willpower to be like, yo, I don't want to deal with this no more. I'm going to find anywhere that I can to get out of this situation. I understand there's some people that's not as fortunate. And yeah, that's, that's what I'm and, talking about. I get what you're saying. It's hard and, and, motivation and be like, yo, I really hate this shit. I don't want to be in this position anymore. I need to figure out how to move and shake within my life so I don't have to ride this. Absolutely. Get that part too. And but I'm like, for those who literally like 60% of that though is they cannot afford to do an Uber or a Lyft to the city. Not, that joint yeah. is expensive. I'm going to say something. This is a hot take. I want to say like maybe let's go with that 60. Let's say 50%. 50% of New York City people that live there can live somewhere else and not be super poverty stricken. They yeah. make enough money. The thing is, New York bears down on you. Bears down. Yeah, New York is just one of it's just such an expensive place to live, man. Like, and like you said, they're they're trying to they're trying to make it a billionaire city, man. They're like, gonna accomplish it eventually. They're gonna accomplish it. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Unless 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 the city goes bankrupt, which I don't see fucking happening. You won't get 1977, 1980s, or even 1990s New York. Shit, even early 2000s New York anymore is gone. Nah. It no longer exists. It doesn't. The only two people that have fun in New York is the poor and the super rich. If you're in the middle class, you're not really having that much fucking fun. And when you say the poor, you mean like the homeless? No, I don't mean like the homeless. I mean like uh, I mean, I mean like Johnny that just moved there from Minneapolis. He's having a great fucking time. Uh okay. Because he don't know no better. If you have anything, you're and not having six months in, he done he done blew his whole savings account. Yeah, but he's having a great time. He's having the time of his life. He's in a big city. But if you're anywhere in between like the middle Ooh. class, if you're in the middle class, you're not really having as much fun as you think you should be having. Plus, by that time, if you're a lifelong New Yorker, you've done you've damn near done everything. You've done everything. It's time, it's time to leave. Go buy some land. In, in in Orlando, 
Orlando, whatever. We need to start invading other cities. Yeah, Florida needs to be cut off. Go move, to the, go move to the Poconos or some crazy shit. The Poconos. Or Connecticut. Yeah, move to Schenectady. Wow, shout out to Schenectady. <laughs> but um, you guys been you guys been keeping up with uh the Michael Jordan saga? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And, and I had a I had a a bad moment because I had to watch him beat the Knicks. <laughs> oh, man. Tell me about it. And I was tell very me, sad. Tell me, tell me about it, man. And I could hear my cousin laughing at me because I because I was mad that the Knicks lost. Again. I heard all of that just from watching it. Shit crazy. It's Shit a great crazy. documentary though. What, uh, do you, what do you think about like the delve into his psyche? Oh, he's an asshole. He, he's, a complete, he's a complete asshole. Is he? Mike is a complete asshole. He's a sociopath. You don't think there was too much uh, pressure on him to be a role model? No. No. Why not? Because he didn't come into the league being that guy. LeBron came into the league being that guy. Okay. What do you mean he didn't come in being that guy? He was picked third overall. Okay. Yeah, he was a great player, but nobody was like, oh, he's the gift to basketball. LeBron James from high school was, you were God's gift to basketball. You were going to change the league. And let's be real. You're the I mean, king. But, but LeBron has cracked under pressure, though. Has he? We have never seen my no, 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 on a basketball court. That's not what we're talking, we're talking about. about that. that's, not, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about that. You say well, you're talking pressure. about being a role model. Yeah, you're talking about the pressures of being a role model. And sure. I don't think Mike has anywhere close to what LeBron had to be as far as the pressure of being a role model. I think that he had a lot of pressure personally. That's just my opinion. I yeah. think there was tons of fucking pressure on yeah. Michael yeah. Jordan, especially back in the late 80s, 90s era. Nah, I, doubt it. I, d- nah, I doubt it. They didn't give a fuck. And so J- Jordan was always the guy, but when he became the guy, then he, when he becomes the face, that's when the pressure comes. LeBron was the guy in the face from day fucking one. Yeah, he wasn't winning crazy it, championships. Oh, we're not talking about the time frame of when it happened. Even, it still happened for Jordan. He was still very much so when he became the face of. Okay, and yeah, he had, yeah he had pressure. I just don't think it's as big a pressure as everybody makes it seem to be. It's not. LeBron had more pressure. LeBron is scrutinized about everything. Well, I mean, if Michael Jordan no, he's not. No, he couldn't golf without niggas saying, yo, like you're addicted to gambling, you're trash. He gambled in space, Jen. You can't have fun. I do he, this for fun and leisure. Nah, my he, four $10 equals my $10,000. So I can do with my money what I want to do with it. And you're telling me that I'm, I'm addicted to something? Absolutely. But I mean, he gambled in space, Jen. I just I just picture Michael Jordan on Instagram pretending to be a hip hop historian and I'll laugh at it. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. That is funny. I, I'm not. I mean, I mean, I I guess you got a point because this kid was like, yeah. I mean, I guess you you definitely got a point because LeBron James was anointed as the chosen one at like 13 years old. Hey. Nah, you got. A point. It's a lifetime you got, of you pressure. Got a point. You got. It's a, point. a lifetime of pressure. Look, Jordan wasn't the guy. So here's what I. But here's yeah. what I will say though. I, I I am a little bit more impressed with Michael Jordan than I, well, not a little bit, a lot more impressed still How? with Michael Jordan than LeBron James. Yeah, me too. How? Yeah, because- Six and zero record in the NBA Finals. That's how. Nah, I, that, yes. The fact, yes. Listen, that's a yes. part. Of, that's a part of yes. it. Right? The thing that I'm that's yes. that impressed. Ne- like you never cracked under pressure on the basketball court where it yeah, mattered the most. Yeah, he did. When he had, when? He had boys. No, he didn't. No, well, yeah. They no, beat his didn't. ass for two straight years, and then, was a better the, team. and then and then the third. And then and then what and then what happened? And then John, what happened? John Jordan packed under pressure. John he Paxton still had bad points those games. Like John, John Paxson bailed them out. I mean, so are we are we gonna talk like that hasn't happened to LeBron James? No, we're not talking about LeBron James. Are we not gonna are we not gonna talk about LeBron James quitting in the fucking playoffs this last year in, in Cleveland? Right. What are we talking about here? Are we, not, are, we not, are we not gonna talk about the same guy that lost in the NBA finals after he said not one, not two, not three? Man. Uh, <laughs> 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 how many teams, how many, 
How many times? How many teams? How many times did Michael Jordan have to jump ship and go to another squad so he could win a ring? It was the nineties. I don't want to hear that. That's a dumb argument. It was the nineties. No, it's not. No, it's not a dumb argument. No, it's not. That's what it is. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's a different league. Yeah, there's better players. In the it was 90s? better players. It was a yeah. tougher league too. It was also in the nineties. Is just flat yes. out better players. Better Yo. players. No nostalgia is crazy. It's not nostalgia. No, yes, it is. Sometimes you be like, yo, this movie is my favorite movie all time. I remember this when I was a kid, and then you watch it as an adult, and it don't really hold up because you was looking at it through rose colored glasses, so you think it was the best shit, and it never was the best. I'm becoming even yeah, Michael, more of a Jordan fan than Michael I already Jordan, was. Hold on, Michael, Jordan, Michael Jordan excluded. Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Plain and simple. He's the greatest to ever play. Okay. Plain and simple. But my, my fight right now is, yo, one, stop comparing him to LeBron, or well, stop, stop. I don't compare him at all. Stop, no, no, no. stop putting LeBron up against him, and don't put Kobe up against him. And furthermore, Kobe has a better fadeaway shot. I don't care if he got it from Mike. Kobe's fadeaway shot is way better. That little like a boy. Yeah. Either way, we started off this conversation by asking <laughs> if he was given too much pressure. And the answer is yes, he was. <laughs> no, I don't think he was. I haven't seen a I want to be LeBron commercial yet. Because because Gatorade didn't come up with that for him? No, because they don't want to be like LeBron. Ooh. That's a fucking lie. They want to be like it. Mike. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. They want to be like Mike. Motherfuckers Any, want anyone. Jordan. Jackson. No, no, no. Listen, Beastly. They, they want to be like Mike. Like, come on. Up. Listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. People, kids want to be like LeBron until Stephen fucking Curry came around and All right. changed the league. All right. Cool. All right. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. That's perfect. Who stepped along and wanted to be like anyone else while Michael Jordan was still in the league? Yo, that's just... I've never said that he's the greatest of all time. What are you saying? Like, niggas was wearing Wizards jerseys with the, with the fucked up collars. You remember that? Yeah, I had one. You remember that? Yeah, I had one. <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Come on, son. Absolutely. I had that. That's more pressure. And I wanted them 17s. I never got them. But it don't matter, though. I don't know. Man. Michael Jordan's the greatest. Cool. I get it. All right. Now that we... Once this is over... We all know that Mike is the greatest. Let's not bring him up ever again, please. No. no. Oh, and yo, and let me um let me clarify something. I said that Michael Jordan owned private prisons. <laughs> I was completely wrong. <laughs> Apparently, there's some guy in Oregon named Michael Jordan that owns the private prison. So, my bad. hey, the fourth one. Okay. This nigga does that like we can't still can't hear everything. <laughs> My, my bad, my bad. Future Mike. Future Mike. My Please. bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but um, I don't know. What y'all, what y'all think about Nick Cage playing Joe Exotic in the? Yo, in the Nick Cage. Yo, one of my favorite actors of all time. Hall of Famer. Do I you, love Nick Cage. I we, love Nick Cage. Do we want to see a, a Joe Exotic? Yes. I don't want to see a series at all. The Netflix thing was enough for that me. That was enough. Yeah, that's all I needed from Joe Exotic. I'm sorry. Listen, they said Nick Cage, and I'm on board because I like Nick Cage. What are you doing? <laughs> that's fine. I think that's like I think that's so pointless. I think that's so pointless. Yeah. Why is it pointless, bro? Like we gonna milk this cow. It's a cash even- cow. Merchandise. Shit is about to be completely out of context. There's going to be some, like, just... It, facts don't matter no more. Not to be too wild, is my point. <laughs> facts don't matter. Can you... I, I can tell I want, you right I now. I want to see the scene. I want to see the scene of Carol Baskin killing her husband. Yeah. If that's, not, if that's not in the movie. Don't even don't even make it. Not to mention, like, like I said, that, that Netflix thing was... It's a cash cow. Do you know how many people are going to be Joe Exotic this Halloween? Probably if, we a, if we have a Halloween, we're gonna have a Halloween because people are people are fed up. Let's talk about that real quick. People are fed up. They're losing their fucking minds. Yeah, they're losing their minds. It's gonna cost them their health. That's the test. Yeah, they they shooting yeah, fucking. They don't. They, they shooting Dollar General security guards because they they don't want to wear a mask in the spot. Sure, he's sure he got arrested for for licking for licking her hands and 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 spitting on quarters before putting it in a change jar and. Yeah, yeah. Some dude, some dude wiped his nose on a on a Walmart employee's 
uh, sleeve. And yeah, yeah, people are losing their minds. Oh, so I'm I'm people, are, people, people, people are losing their minds, sir. Yes. People yes. losing their fucking minds. So yes. outside is going to open back up because they're going to be like, if we don't open outside back up, we're going to lose this fucking country. And that's exactly what's going to happen. And that's going to fall into Trump's fucking stupid ass plan. I can't, also, I also, can't wait to watch all the fights that are going to occur because because uh, somebody so didn't get their 800. 800. Oh my God. I can't, I can't that. wait. I can't wait to see everybody get ran down on for the, for the hundred for the hundred dollars. That's hilarious. Oh, yo, MVP, uh, MVP of uh, the, MVP of the uh outbreak. Of the coronavirus. Uh, uh, <laughs> MVP of the coronavirus. Right. What? MVP of the coronavirus, Kim Jong-un. Fast. Most valuable player out here. All right, yeah, we can talk about this thing wrap it up. <laughs> nah, hey, Kim 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 Jong-un. Dad, and neither is Kim Jong-un. <laughs> hey, yo, tell them I'm in critical condition. See what they do. Yeah. <laughs> young. Yo, that's so fire, though. Like, <laughs> nah, like, that's one of the illish, that's the illish shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Cause faked his own death just to weed out the traitors. Mm -hmm. Most valuable player, bro. Yo, when they do the bruh, bruh, when they do the Kim Jong biopic, <laughs> that's the reality. I don't I don't want to see no Joe Exotic. I want to see the Kim Jong biopic. And you dig what I'm saying? The, that's, the kid. Yo, that shit is crazy. Like, yo, son, like <laughs> I could just see son in a condo somewhere in North Korea, <laughs> chilling, sipping, sipping Hennessy. Like, yeah, these niggas really think I'm dead. That's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, he said what? Oh, I right, bet. Yeah, exactly. Put his little name down on a piece of paper. Yo, and that's the and that and the crazy part is we ain't never gonna find out who the traitors was. Nah, they done. They already gone. They already yeah. Gone. I was gonna say they already gone. They already gone. MVP, yo, that's... he he bodied this. Nah, he really did though. He, he bodied these last three <laughs> these last three months. He really did. That's crazy, yo. He really had he had TMZ fool exactly. And if you could fool TMZ, yeah, you successfully faked your own death. I will say that he was the Michael Jordan of 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 the coronavirus. He came. He came. Listen, he checked into the game. Eight minutes left in the quarter. Erased everything. Put up twenty. Put up, <laughs> put up thirty. <laughs> In the last eight minutes, MVP. <laughs> I want a Kim Jong jersey. Yo, you can do that. <laughs> you can do that. Nah, get you make you make you like a um. You think Nike will let you do that or NBA.com? <laughs> I would have to come up with a logo, but. I don't need fire. them to do it. I don't need them to let me do it. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> but you, yo, I know Dennis Romney seen that news and was like, told y'all niggas he won't dead. Nah, he hit him on the jack. He, he definitely said, called he definitely called he hit, him on, he hit him on the jack yeah. and he was like, he 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 hit him on the jack and was like, yo, I like episode three of the last dance. <laughs> I don't I like how you went to uh Vegas. I mean you ain't give a fuck. <laughs> meanwhile, he was supposed to be dead, but they was just on the phone talking. This nigga said, meanwhile, he said, I'm actually in Vegas right now if you want to pull up. Yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> I know everything closed, but they're going to open it for me, you know. Yo, that's fucking <laughs> hilarious. Shout out to Kim Jong, man. Well, nah, not shout out to Kim Jong, but shout out to Kim Jong. Nah, he's just the most valuable player. I'm not saying he's a good person, but. He's definitely the MVP. <laughs> he's the MVP. That's crazy. Nobody had a better season than him. Are y'all tuning in to, um. Joe Scott and Erica Badu tomorrow? No. Is that tomorrow or is it Saturday? The Whatever, Saturday. Whenever the ninth is. <laughs> it's, it's Saturday. It's before our thing. It's but, before. Uh, oh, yeah. It's before. I'm definitely watching. Um, I don't care. I like Erica That's Badu. That's not your music? No, nah, I like, I probably like like three or four Badu songs, maybe two Jill Scott songs. It's not, it's, it's not for me. Yeah. I'll be talking. Are y'all gonna, gonna tune into the uh to the Kaya versus Trina <laughs> versus that's not happening, okay? She is a she <laughs> said she had she said she had 285 hits yeah. for who Kaya 
Stop it, yo. I, I don't even, I only know one song from her. I we all know only one song from her. I know two. That's it. That's because you're from Carolina. I'm from Virginia. <laughs> it's from Richmond, bro. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He said, all right. No, he's from Carolina. I went to school to in Carolina. <laughs> oh, man. No, nah, that, shit, that shit is geek, yo. Oh, my she's God. wild. No, nah, but I mean, it's, I, I definitely got, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'll probably put my money on, um, I'm not really a big fan of either of them. I'll probably put my money, I think Jill Scott might have some better records, though. Nah, but I do is going to get out of here. I think Jill Scott might get her, might clean her up. She might I don't her. know, but that's why I'm going to watch. <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be a good one though. There's sure. only one person that could beat the both of them. Who is that? And that's the immortal Lauren Hill. And you know what? If she was on that live, she wouldn't even show up because that's how good she is. One album, I don't need to show up the shit. You know what my shit is banging for. You know my body. Are we counting her catalog with the Fuji's? Because nah. Even then, she she's cleaning everybody up. No, she's not. That album is a masterpiece. <laughs> not for not for a twenty song battle, bro. It's right. a masterpiece. Tell me, does does the mystery yes. of Warren Hill even have twenty songs on it? Nah, you just take some of the Fuji songs. So no solo records. It's not fair. Right. What do you mean? It's not fair. I'm just saying. I, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna jump out there and say that, bro. I'm not. Okay. You, I'm not gonna have fun with it. You got Carrie Hilson versus Beyonce. I'm, they should do that versus why not? Why? I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even entertain that for what? Uh, so the Beehive can continue their assault on Carrie Hilson like they've been doing for the past decade and some change. Oh, they have been, but I mean, Carrie can't win against anybody. Wow, according, according to no, not me personally, I'm saying <laughs> society. I don't like Carrie Hilson personally. Really? I heard uh, I heard her really? new that's like all reggaeton and shit. I fuck with it. What? Yeah. You had me at you had me at <laughs> <laughs> you lost. I mean, you lost me at reggaeton. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's that's true. Awesome. I'm good on it. Go list. Go find it and listen to it. She got, she got bad bunny on there. It's decent. Ew. Hey, bad bunny is ill. It's a good song. Oh, I don't know. Right. I don't know, man. Is that it? Is that it for the week? I know there's some more bullshit in here. I mean, there's definitely some more going on, man. There's definitely some more going on, but you know, some shit happened. The moment we stop, no, nah, we can wrap it up. I'm not, I'm not tripping. It ain't really, it ain't really that much. You know, something else crazy gonna happen in the next couple of hours. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know what I mean, but um. Had a good time, despite, <laughs> despite the lack of guests. Um, we tried to we tried to pull the audible in the in the fourth quarter, but um, our alternate guest she wasn't camera ready, so we'll see her next week. That's all right on the Beasley's House podcast. But um, this has been episode eight. I'm uh, Mike Beasley. This is Cam. You I'm Ashley. Um, make sure y'all go follow us on everything. Everything. See all of our ads. See the BC's Lounge ticker. It's been scrolling through this entire episode. Shot means TM. Follow yeah. Instagram and Apple Music. Um, follow follow BC's Lounge on Spotify. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep uh, updating that playlist. I was playing I was playing some joints from that joint uh, from that playlist last weekend. Surprising Cam. What? Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. Yo, let that be the outro music because I really like that damn song. Nah, that's the thing. Yeah, because like <laughs> I for, I actually forgot that you wasn't like that you didn't that you didn't uh wasn't there when I interviewed Flock. That was the thing. Like that was like one of the joints I did like by myself, I think. Did I leave? No, like it was just it was in the Nova. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was just like I pulled up. I pulled up at his crib. And I don't think I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, this was before I had y'all like calling in when I was recording them jumps. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. <clears throat> nah, but yeah, that's a fire record, man. But hopefully, things come with some more heat soon, so I could start adding some more to that joint. I'm sure there's. I'm sure there's some artists that have put out music since they've been on the show that I could add to the playlist. But 
yeah, Jen got some heat on there, but nonetheless, make sure y'all go check that shit out. Um, this has been episode eight of Lisa's in the podcast, and um, I'll say it before, like I said before, I'll say it again. Um, if you see me, stay six feet, nigga. Until further notice. <laughs> Man, give me a pound. I don't give a fuck. That's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Peace, peace.